Um, I really do think that the Cabinet Secretary, Selena Bussey, and her staff had the vision of the importance of aligning the workforce system with the higher education system to more effectively meet the employment demands and the workforce demands in New Mexico. It was a collaborative effort um, deciding to write the job development career coach component into the TACT grant. And that collaboration really took place with the Department of Workforce Solutions, which is the name of our workforce system. Having the workforce employees located on every college campus was no doubt a lasting, significant systems change approach. I think too often training programs were being designed and implemented in isolation from the needs of employers. This has been an effort to really strengthen the focus of the community college systems on workforce development efforts across the state. Our innovation is, we refer to it as the job development career coach. What's unique about ours is that they're actually employees of the workforce system. And it was a combination of workforce staff as well as college staff who were hiring these positions at each college. Um, their job is to, in part, in partnership with the college staff, recruit students to training programs, um, help them fill out the required paperwork, the enrollment forms, they're tracking the services that they're receiving. Um, every time a job development career coach uh, meets with a student, um, they enter it into, into the system. The other thing is, is helping them with the job search process so that they, I mean, the job development career coaches, they know what jobs exist in the community and they can help figure out who's the, who's the best fit for those jobs. The fact that they know that they're going to be pursuing a, a, a training program that will lead to employment is huge. I think too often people enter the community college system and they're told to, to enroll in these set of classes and they're told to do that for a number of years and they're not even sure that it's going to result in a job. We now have well over 200 employer partners actively involved. So those job development career coaches are really on the ground building close relationships with employers. They also help facilitate like regional employer council meetings so that employers are meeting with faculty, staff, deans, and directors, and there's that exchange of information. And so it's really allowed us to align the systems between the higher education system, which provides the training, with the workforce system that provides the connection to employment with the regional employers in the area. We're able to track students from their training program to completion of their training to receiving the industry credential to the job that they received and then also the wage increase. As of September of 2017, we had close to 550 students who've received a new job as a result of completing their program of study, but we expect that number to more than double, possibly triple, once we get the most up-to-date data. The other unexpected outcome that's far exceeded our identified target is the number of students who've received a wage increase as a result of increasing their credibility, their credentials. The return on investment for the SunPath Initiative in New Mexico is an increase of about $7,000 of their wages per year. And so the return on investment study showed that there's, there will be $132 million returned to the New Mexico economy um, through 2028. We do have a lot of resources for the job development career coaches. One example is a 90-day checklist, 60-day checklist, and a 30-day checklist that the job development career coaches go into the classrooms and go over with the students in order for you to be prepared for employment after graduation, here's all the things you need to do. The cabinet secretary, and I think everybody involved has really recognized the benefit. This is a win-win. And so as a result, she has agreed to sustain all the job development career coaches after the grant ends. And it's serving for, as a catalyst for really expanding the workforce presence beyond just the job development career coach. Meeting with their site teams every week to identify what's our priority, how, the, how is this going to work, who are the student populations that we're really targeting, what are some of the challenges that we're facing, how can we serve them the best, how can we schedule out 
um, services and workshops that will prepare students once they graduate. So the planning and preparation together was really key. We've gotten 100% from, 110% from everybody involved to really figure out their job, find the resources, receive the training they need, and then, you know, it's exciting work to be working with students to help them get a new job.